Hey there, this is Akshit Madan. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an application using Flutterflow using the APIs. So I got many requests that please teach us how you can connect APIs in your Flutterflow app so that you can create a full fledged application using no code without even knowing uh, this uh, Dart concepts or OP concepts or anything. If you are a startup owner, if you are thinking to create an MVP prototype, Flutterflow is the best way of creating mobile applications if you don't know coding, right? So I'm going to show you how you can create or connect APIs or integrate APIs in your UI, Flutter UI that you have created on Flutterflow. So let me just go on my dashboard and I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to call it API app, right? And let's create new. I'm not going to use any templates. We are going to code. Uh, we are going to uh, use all the widgets uh, that are there in widgetry and I'm going to use an cats facts API. So th that's an API which is going to give you uh, facts about cats. Right, so all the cats lover are happy now. And uh, okay, so this is good. Click on next step and this is everything is good. So I'm going to uh, click on skip. And this is my application, right? So what I want to create is I'm, I'm going to create a simple application. There will be a text box. And in that text box, the facts about cats will be visible. And below that there will be a button uh, fetch or you can call it like give me the fact kind of that. So whenever you are going to click on that button, the new fact about a cat will be updated on that text box, right? So I'm going to use this cats API, cats facts API. So cat, cats facts API, this is the API. And in this, you can see if you just, uh, in this, this is my uh, endpoint. And if I just add slash fact over here, I'm going to get a JSON result. So you can see this is my JSON result. And in this JSON result, I'm getting a like dictionary in which fact is the key and length is the key. So this is length is number of characters or uh, and fact is my actual fact. So this is the string which I want to print in my text field using uh, like all the methods that are there in Flutterflow to connect APIs to integrate APIs, right? And I'm, if I'm uh, going to write facts, then let's see what we get. So I'm getting so many cats, uh, so many facts about cats, right? So this is the result, but I am interested in only one fact and you can, once you all know all the concepts, you can code anything. Right, you can create anything. So let's work with this thing. So this is my endpoint, and you can work with any APIs. You can work with headers. You can work with parameters. Like so, this means that you can take any API and you can integrate in Flutterflow very easily. Right. So let's go on Flutterflow. And first of all, I'm going to go on this settings kind of icon. So this is an icon for API calls. So I'm going to go over here. So let's go over here and click on Add API Call. Right. And you need to give an API name. So let's give it Cats facts right and write the api url so this is the url or the endpoint that we have copied from here perfect and here you can add all the headers so sometimes what happens is you need to write headers you need to define some parameters like let's say you are working with weather api so of course in the weather api you are going to give a parameter of city of time of humidity or any kind of that in header you can give some uh, api headers right so all those people who know about APIs, they are well aware that like what are headers, what are parameters, right? So I'm going to keep it simple. And if you know headers parameters, if you require them, you can add them. Otherwise, let's keep it simple and let's add the URL itself. And if you are having an API key, so you can just write API key over here, like whatever URL, uh, you can check the documentation of that, U uh, of that API and you can work with it. So let's click on add API call. So API is added in my Flutterful application. And if I just go over here and now something complex is going to happen. So keep uh, an eye over it and just be attentive because over here I'm going to click on this response and test. So let's first of all test this API so that we are sure that this API is working in my flutter flow, right? So over here, if I just click on test API call, I'm going to get this result fact and length. But what I'm interested in, I'm interested in this fact. I'm not interested in this dictionary. Right. So what I'm going to do is we need to provide some JSON paths so that this fact is stored in a variable or it is stored in some, you know, path. And in my UI, I just want that path and I don't want anything else. I am not, I am not interested in this whole dictionary. I'm not interested in this length. I'm just inter interested in this fact. Right. So what is going to happen is I'm going to add the JSON path and click uh, over here, write a name of that, uh, you know, the variable. So let's call it fact. And over here, we need to define the path, right? So what I'm going to do is you need to define square brackets and inside that quotes, right? And let me just increase the font size. You can see uh, 
square brackets then quotes and write fact like this fact right so what i'm going to do is i'm going inside this result json body and i'm interested in this fact so let's say inside this there were uh, you know like this it was a result so let me just edit it this is very important so let's say the result was over here there was one more key and the result was let's say temperature and it was a uh, again it was a dictionary right and inside it there were again some keys let's say of delhi and the temperature was let's say uh, 38 and let's say another city was mumbai and temperature was let's say 27 right so let's say this was the api result right so let me just put it very systematically so that it's visible perfectly yes so now it is visible right so let's say this was the result now what i want is i want delhi temperature so what i'll do is i'll go inside temperature and then i'll go inside delhi so over here i'll go inside temperature and then i'll go inside delhi and whatever is there in the key delhi it will be stored in my variable whatever name you want to give it so how i am telling it like what's the documentation behind it so what you can do is over here there is an i button json path name just click over it and or if it is not click clickable just write json path json path if you want to read more about it so json path syntax and over here you can see this is the way so this was uh, if you have a list then you can uh, refer to the indexes if you are having key value pairs then you can li uh, like use the square brackets use the keys and you will get the value right so this was the uh, like you know it was a hack or you know it was the logic behind it so let's keep it simple and let me just click again on test api call and i'm getting my fact and my length and i'm going to remove remove all this and i'm going to keep it simple and i'm going to keep fact inside it uh, yes so this is perfect and you can create one more path and you can keep it length and you can write the same thing over here and write length so length will be stored in this length fact will be stored in this fact right now what i want to do is i'm going to set my path so over here i just want my fact to be visible i don't want this length i don't want this dictionary so over here i'm going to write fact and yes this is the thing and why it is not visible so let's click on over here so this is not visible let's see what's the problem over here fact so this is the thing let me use double quotes I think it was double quotes. Yes, so now it is visible. Uh, you can use double quotes, you can use single quotes. That was not an issue. I just did not save it. So before uh, like expecting the result over here, you just need to save it and then come again over here and then you can expect the fact result. So you can see now I can see fact. So if I just click on length, I can see length. So whatever length is over here. So now you can see that I'm able to get the keys data instead of getting the whole dictionary. So now it is a time to code the whole UI and let's fetch the results using these APIs, right? So let's go on our UI thing and let me just decrease the size. Yes, now it is good. And in the app title, so you can see I'm on the pages and I'm having only one page that is home page. And now I'm going to add, a, I'm going to give it a beautiful title instead of page title. So let's give it cats facts, right? Cats facts app, right? Perfect. And over here, I'm also going to change the primary color to teal or kind of greenish. So let's keep this color. Not this is not cool. And let me just keep it this one. This is also very bright. So let me use a darker color. Yes, this is good. This is good. And now uh, I think, yeah, this is good. Okay. So now let's add a decoration image uh, to this whole app. So let me use cats thing and cats wallpaper. Google, yeah, cats wallpaper. And I'm going to use this one. So let's copy the address and over here in this, I'm going to add a container. So let's go to widget tree, widget tree and let's add a container. And this is my container. Now I'm going to give it full height and full width. So let's go inside width 100%, sorry, height 
and width also 100%. So this is good. And now add a path over here. So you can see the cat image is over here. Now I want a text, you know, text box kind of thing. So what I'll do is I'll search for a text box. Uh, if I'll find that will be good. So I'm having this only text. So what I want to do is I will take a container though and I'll put my text inside that white container so that it should be visible. So this container is taking the full height. This I don't want. Uh, let me just do it like this. Yes. Uh, instead of directly putting the column, let's uh, directly putting the container. Let's put a column because we also need that uh, button be, uh, below that. So I'm going to take a column. I'm going to put it over here. Then I'm going to use a container like this and I'm going to keep the main axis alignment of my column. So go over here, select column and my main axis alignment dot center. Where is the center? Yes, this is the center, but it is still not in the center. Let's see uh, what's the error. That's not a big issue. So this is my container. And what I want to do is I'm going to keep my height as let's say 80, not 80. Let's keep it 100 itself and my width as let's say 340. Okay. And let's put a text inside it. So I'll go in the widgets. I'll select text. I'll put it inside this text. Right. And we need to make it like in the center. So let's go to alignment. Where is my alignment box? Select the text. Text is selected and responsive visibility. No. So here is my alignment. You can see and select the alignment and I'm going to keep the vertical alignment at zero. So this is at the center. Perfect. Now I want this box also to be at the center. So let's see how we can do it. Not like this and let me select alignment yeah this will not happen because it is wrapped inside a column so we need to do something with the column only so let's go inside the column and main axis size dot max scrollable it's not the point it is at the center mm, okay that's not an issue let's add our button first so let's add the button so this is my button and now I'm going to give it some, uh, I'll increase its width to infinity, not infinity exactly. Let's keep the same width as we give it to our container. So 340, so this is good. And heights, I'm going to give it 55. I usually give height 55 to my buttons. So this is a tip if you want it. Button looks good at 55 height. So I'll, I'll use the same color like this. And now I'm going to give it I want some space between it, right? So what I want to do is I'll go inside my widgets. Uh, yes, I'll take a container. I'll put it over here. And in my widget tree, I'm going to use this button and this button will be below this container. And now I'm going to give it lesser height to my height, uh, to my container, which is between this text box and my button. And now I'm going to give it transparent color so that it should not be visible. So yes, so you can see the gap. This is good. Now only one thing that I'm not liking is uh, it's not in the center. So if you can do it, that will be very good. But like, what's the issue? Like if this is my column and uh, this is my container and this is my home page. So what we can do is uh, I think what one thing that we can do is we can wrap this whole column inside a container and we can give expanded height to that container. So that is your task if you want to do it. But for now, let's uh, give this button some task. So select this button and go inside this actions thing and click on add an action. And you can see uh, search for action on tap. So when I'm going to tap on this button, uh, it will be not navigate. It will be an API call. So click on this API call and backend call then call name will be cats facts so you remember that we gave the our api one name so that is cats facts output variable name so you can give one output variable name so i'm going to call it fact right so this is my fact and now this is all set A button thing is done so whatever we want to do is it's all done right now click over here select the text and also you can see the set from variable below this you can see hello world and uh, above it, you can see set from variable. So click on that and click on source. 
source will be action output so that means there is some action there will be some output of that action and i want that output to be visible in my text box so action outputs available option fact so this is the variable name that we gave when we were defining an action to our button so fact response option will be json body so my output is in json body available option is json path and over here you can define that same json path so like like this give the quotes and inside it write fact right default value if your fact is not like uh, till now it is not uh, there so you can see sample fact perfect click on save everything is done and now i'm also going to give this text as black color so where is my text color yeah it is already black so yes so this is all good i think we are ready to go and we are ready to test our application so let's click on run and let's wait so currently my app is running and if it is visible to you you can see uh, this thing it is null but why it is in white color i don't know but let me just uh, run it let me just click on my button and yes so i can see my cat's fact over here uh, let me click on button and yes you can see the cat fact but why it is in white color i don't know so let's do one thing let's go over here and let's give this uh, container as black color so my main purpose is just to show you that our api is integrated successfully you can work according to you let me click on run so now you can see the application you can see the text as null and if i just click on button you can see another fact click on button you can see another fact 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 so all these result is coming from our api that is cats facts api right you can create your own application you can work with the json result that you are getting now you know how you can go inside json body you can go inside dictionary and you can take the element that you want you are whether you are working with weather api go inside the whole json body select that city take the weather take the humidity and show it in your application so i hope that this video was pretty clear and it helped you and if you have any kind of development work that you want us to do then you know that i own a gromonx freelancing agency where we provide app dev web dev ui ux services you can reach out to us you can also follow me on instagram and we will happy to help and you can also see that we use flutterflow a lot so if you also seeking for an mvp or a kind of product that you are seeking as a startup you can use flutterflow and you can create your product so till next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot